Woo, it's so dark in this car. Come on in, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to wait for Facebook to come on in and build me an audience. You guys, come on in. I do have some things I want to say. First of all, let me say this. If you are watching this as a replay, I pray the power of God will hit you as if you were live with me. Come on in, everyone, and begin to tag and share. Come on, I got some things to say. People of God, the quicker you begin to come in tagging and sharing, the quicker I can release, hallelujah, this magnificent word for you, the one that's watching this video. Let me start by saying this off rip. It's not by coincidence that you are on here right now. The Lord Lord has a message for you, the one that's watching this video. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so come on in as we build an audience. Come on. Come on in, everyone. Come on. 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 Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. I need some taggers and sharers on, on tonight. I need some people. I need some people who are on, people of God, and not just on here, just watching me. Come on, but you on here, watch this, because you need to be encouraged on tonight. Come on, I need you to tag four or five people, people of God. Come on, Mona Lisa, that's the way to do it. Give me a second. Why I tag some of my snipers in the spirit really quickly, who I know going to jump on. Glory be to God, and they're going to um begin to tag and share. Come on, blessings to everybody who's obedient on tonight hallelujah by tagging and sharing if i could just get everybody to tag 12 people i'm satisfied with that come on in people of god come on come on come on just give me a second you guys i'm 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 also um tagging some people to this live glory to god when i tell you baby the enemy is upset because he's defeated and one thing I know about the devil is when he did about Kosiah, when he, he, he feels like he got you, the devil sit around and watch you at your lowest. Hear me and hear me well, people of God. The devil will sit around and watch you break down and look for his moment. Hear me and hear me well to, to, to interfere. He'll look for his moment to try to come in and prove a point and pertaining to your life. So come on in, everybody. I need everybody tagging and sharing. Just give me a second. I'm just tagging a few more people that I know will come on. Hallelujah, sharing this live and tagging other people. Come on, blessings to the obedient on tonight. I ask everybody to tag 12 people. Just give me a second. I don't want to tell y'all to do something that I'm not doing myself, honey. Hold on one second. Just give me a minute, you guys. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, as I begin to um, uh, help Facebook build me an audience, just give me a few Come on in, everyone. Come on, we get in there. I got to get these numbers up before I get started. But I do want to come and encourage some people on tonight. Just give me a second while I pick up my other phone. Hold on, you guys. I'm currently in a rental car while they're fixing on my other car. And I'm trying to adjust to it. Come on, blessings, blessings to the obedient on tonight. Come on, we're going to take about three more minutes, people of God. And we're going to build a audience about three more minutes. And we're going to build a audience. Come on in. Come on in. Glory to God. Just give me a second. Give me a second, everyone. Hold on. Just give me a second. Hold on. We bought there, you guys. Give me a second. I'm just using my other phone to tag and share. Um... Hold on. Hold on. One second, you guys. Come on. God bless everybody who's tagging and sharing. Just two more minutes. I'm using my other phone, you guys, to just respond, um, to share this live also. So thank you guys for your patience while we're building an audience. I promise you the live is going to be worth it. Hallelujah. But I cannot go live until I feel like everybody in my spirit who's supposed to be on, um, is on. So thank you, you guys, for um, your obedience. Hallelujah. On tonight. Thank you to everybody. Um, glory to God who is um, tuning in. Just, just give me a second, everyone. 
Just give me about two more minutes. I'm just currently sending this to some people, um, inboxes that I know need this on tonight. So I thank you guys um, for your patience um, and everything like that on tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, we about there. Come on, we're about Come on, we're about there. I'm going to go ahead and get started. God bless everybody who's tagging and sharing. If you are just now tuned in, people of God, I ask everybody to tag, uh, tag 12 people because you don't even understand. That's the quickest way to put a seed in the ground by simply, hallelujah, sharing this live and tagging some other people. Let me get to the message on tonight. I was literally driving down the road. And while I was driving down the road, the Lord began to speak to me and the Lord began to tell me first of all I got some great news on last night that I cannot release until things manifest you guys will see the flyer drop but while driving down the road today I'm just thanking God for just all the great things he's been doing in my life because I went through a season of nothing but tears do I got anybody who can testify to that by dropping in the um, comment section I went through a season of stress come on I'm talking to some people on tonight that say all of my good days were not good days I went through a season that, about Kosaya, that almost made me lose my mind so I'm riding in the car on today come on shout out to Tamika Irvin shout out to uh, all of my us uh, um snipers in the spirit who jumping jumping on um Jacquees God bless you come on I tell everybody to tag and share watch this people of God watch this I begin to just thank the Lord. You get what I'm saying for where I'm at right now mentally. Until you almost do, you done been through a situation that almost made you lose your mind. You wouldn't even understand where I'm coming from with this live. I begin to ride down the road and the Lord begin to tell me, you got to get on live tonight. I wasn't going to get on live tonight because you know my voice. And I'm doing a big homeless feeding this Saturday in my community. So I'm trying to save my voice. But the Lord said, no, you got to release this message to the people of God. The Lord told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video on this live, it's not by coincidence that you are here. The Lord told me to come and tell you, this season is called, I deserve it all and more. Somebody put in the comment section, I deserve it all. God is saying this season that you are just now entering into. This season that you're about to walk into. This season that you are about to experience. It's called, I deserve it all and more. Let me tell you what I am learning, people of God. I'm going to tell you how you test people, gangster. And you test people to see if they really there for you or not. Give me a second. I'm going to tell you how you test people, gangster. And see if people really there for you or not. I gave out a little bit of good news to a few people yesterday just to see how they would react. People will say they proud of you. They happy for you. They wish you well. They clapping for you. But baby, you can see it all in their expression. You got to start pulling people cards sometimes. You got to watch this. Tell people good news sometimes just to see Hallelujah, if they're genuinely happy for you. Why? Because then you know how to move with them moving forward. Somebody put in the comment section, moving forward, you're dismissed. Oh, I'm, I'm, I promise you I'm trying not to scream. Moving forward, you are dismissed. This season that you, I'm talking to you. Yes, you're the one that's watching this video, baby. This season that you are getting ready to walk into, God is, oh Jesus, is saying it's called, I deserve it all and more. Somebody drop in the comment section and more. And I begin to say, okay, God, you telling me I deserve all this and more because I'm so very grateful for everything that you're doing in my life. God, you're telling me that I deserve all of this and more. And watch this, people of God. And I'm about to I feel God. Watch this. Watch this. God began to say to me that the and more came from the fact that you didn't let the problem break you. Somebody put in the comment section, I didn't let it break me. You don't even understand. While you are sitting there complaining, you're moping, you're going through it, you're sorrowful, you're stressed out, you're feeling like you are defeated, 
by the problem that seems like it is greater than you. God is saying you are crazy because you are about to walk into your season of more. And let me tell you something. You got to be careful when you're walking into this season of more. I'm talking to you, the one that's watching this video. The reason you got to be careful, baby, is because let me tell you something. Not everybody going to be happy that you're finally starting to win. Somebody should put that in the comment section. I'm finally starting to win. I don't care if you think I'm on my hot horse. I don't care if you think I'm stuck up. I don't care if you think I think I'm all that, baby. Allow me, uh, hallelujah, to feel like I'm all that. You weren't with me in that season where I felt like I was nothing. You weren't with me in that season when I felt like I was all alone. Uh, you weren't with me in that season when I felt like I was defeated. You weren't with me in that season when I felt like the Lord wasn't here from me. Uh, Allow me. Somebody put in the comment section, allow me. Allow me to go through my season where I feel like I'm all that and more. If you didn't understand and experience, glory to God, the hell that I'm currently coming out of, you wouldn't understand my praise. Somebody put you, they just don't understand my praise. You don't understand my praise. If you see me smiling, you ought to be happy for me. Because if you knew what I was overcoming in the back end, if you see me finally chuckling, kikiing, hallelujah, laughing here and there, you ought to be happy for me. Because if you knew what I was coming out of, you will understand. And God is saying, this season you're entering is called you deserve it all. And more. And I begin to say to God, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The word all, oh, man, I'm telling you, there's no boundaries on all. Somebody put in the comment section, there's no boundaries on all. Come on, I need you to catch this in the spiritual realm. If God is saying you're walking into your season where you deserve it all oh, and more, there's no boundaries on all. What does that mean, Dr. Shakira McFadden? Somebody should put all first in capital letters. Come on, A-L-L, -L, all. I need to know you're paying attention. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Anytime, oh Jesus, let me, I, I get the Lord saying, I got to break this down to you. Anytime you're currently getting ready to be blessed, you got to look out for snakes. What are you saying, Dr. Shakira McFadden? Anytime you're currently getting ready to be blessed, you got to look out for snakes. There are people out there who literally do not want you happy. It is weird, but do you know that there are people out there, it makes their day. When they see you posting on social media, you depressed, you stressed, you frustrated. Do you know there are people in your own bloodline, it, it begins uh, to make their day. Hallelujah, people of God. Watch this. When, when, when you begin to say, hallelujah, certain things like, um, 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 I'm struggling and I need to borrow something and I need you to help me out with this. Do you know there are friends that you are connected to uh, when you are going to them telling them, man, I'm having problems in my marriage or in my relationship. Uh, they are genuinely happy. Hallelujah. At the fact that you're experiencing hard times, even though uh, these are people who say they love you and they care about you. God is saying in this season, this time around, somebody put in the comment section this time around. He's saying this time around, when I give you the blessing, you better watch out for snakes. Why? Because it's the enemy's job to immediately snatch your joy. It's the enemy's job to immediately snatch your peace. It's the enemy's job to make you look, glory to God, like you a liar, like you not God's favorite, like God not coming to see about you, like God ain't spinning a block for you. Like you not on God's to-do list. So immediately, people of God, you got to look out for snakes. God is saying, I see it all.
I don't know who need to hear this, but I give the Lord saying, I see it all. You think I don't see you struggling? You think I don't see you barely making it by? And I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to release glory to God what the Lord is telling me to say. God is saying that I'm a Koshaya. There are some of you that are on here right now. You're stressed out already. Glory to God, because the holidays are coming around. And every time the holidays begin to come around, hear me and hear me well. You get all stressed out. You're stressed because you got to spend the holidays alone. Hallelujah. Your re uh, relationship is, hallelujah, at not as, at, it, it's not at its best. God is saying you're stressed because you don't know how you're going to get your kids Christmas toys. Baby, it's only October. You ain't get past the witches in the costume yet. But you already stressed out because you can't do for your children what other people can do. Messiah can do for theirs. So I said, the Lord began to tell me to tell you on tonight, watch out in advance for that spirit of depression that's trying to creep in on you. Why? Because God is saying these holidays will not be like the last holidays. Somebody should, oh Jesus Christ, somebody should put that in the comment section. This holiday won't be like the last holiday. God is saying why? The, the reason it won't be like the last holiday it's because you're walking into your season of you deserve it all and more. You're stressed about things God is already, Jesus Christ, taking care of. Somebody should be bold enough to put in the comment section, you're talking about me. No, not this holiday. You won't be depressed on Christmas. Uh, no, not this holiday. Uh, you won't be stretched out on Thanksgiving. Come on, no, 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 uh, no not this holiday. Uh, you won't be moping and complaining, uh, wishing you can do more. God is saying you're walking uh, into your season of more. Uh, he said, watch this, uh, because you did not break down uh, when it got a little too tough, uh, because you did not break down uh, when they talked about you and stand of your name <clears throat> because you did not break down Glory to God. Hallelujah. When the enemy tried to make a fool of you, he said, I'm giving you all that you have asked for and more. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Oh, somebody should drop that in the comment section quickly. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not allow harm. What are you saying, Dr. Shakir McFadden? Uh, God already know the plans. So we already plan uh, to bless you in November and December. Uh, he said, I already know the plans. Uh, so he already planning uh, not to have you stressed in November and December. No, baby. You deserve glory to God uh, to write you out a Christmas list too. And I hear the Lord saying to come and tell you on tonight that this season is called You Deserve It All and More. And when God is blessing you with the and more, baby, they ain't going to be able to take you when God is blessing you with the and more, baby, they're going to have something to slightly say. When God is blessing you with the and more, baby, you're going to be the talk of the town. When God is blessing you with the and more, it's going to be a problem to your problems. When he's blessing you with the and more, somebody should be putting and more in capital letters. It's going to be a problem to your enemies. When he's blessing you, glory to God, with the and more, it might even make your significant other a little jealous. When he's blessing you with the and more, you can walk on the job with your head up. Jesus Christ, when you're walking into the and more, he said, this season is called, you deserve it all and more. There are so many of you that are watching. Hear me and hear me well. 2024 have not been so great for you. 2024 was a season of sickness. 2024, glory to God, was a season, hallelujah, of stress. 2024 for some of you was a season of divorce and separation. 2024 for some of you was a season of your uh, loss where you lost 
lost loved ones, people you care about. Watch this, not only by losing them, glory to God, to a casket that went six feet deep, but some of you guys lost relationships this season of 2024. For some of you people of God, it was a season of feeling alone. This season of 2024, for some of you people of God, it was a season of a Messiah of exposing. And God is saying, hear me and gear me well. Because you better gear me and gear me well. You did not break down. You did not give in. You did not throw in the towel. This season you're entering now, it's called I Deserve It All and More. I just uploaded somebody next Facebook status and you ought to tag me in and I deserve it all and more. So if you see me, glory to God, genuinely smiling, baby, allow me to have my moment. I went through a season where I gave all of me to everybody else. If you see me now on all kind of flyers, hallelujah, my name is being mentioned in rooms I haven't even made it to. You ought to be grateful, glory to God, because you don't know what I I went through, hallelujah, just a few months ago. I give the Lord saying to you, the one that's watching this video this season, it's called I Deserve It All and More. You deserve it all and more. And you don't even understand the and more is what's about to shift your situation. You deserve the keys and more. Somebody should be dropping that in the comment section. You deserve God to mend the marriage and more. Some of y'all should be dropping it in the comments. You deserve to beat the court case and more. I'm talking to some people who have poured and poured and poured and it's still never enough. I'm talking to some people a rebel who have placed everything out of everybody before them I'm talking glory to God to some people on tonight who a rebel who have laid down your life hallelujah for others God is saying I'm blessing you in front of the ones who think you about to be cursed Sat on the phone with my best friend last night, Tanya, and I called Pam. And, you know, when I got some good news last night, I couldn't keep my composure. And I, I said, God, you genuinely got to send me an armor bearer. You got to send me, hallelujah, somebody, God, who can handle all this for me. Because uh, I, I usually only fly twice a month. But now uh, uh, I'm, 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 I got three events November, three events December, three events January, three events February. And they're coming back back to back to back and God is literally placing me hallelujah before celebrities and different things as a voice to God's people I'm telling you the one that's watching this video you better get to a place where you get before God and get from God yourself don't let nobody stop you from doing what you heard the Lord say why because people will delay you with their thoughts concerns feelings and emotions somebody put in the comment section Keep your opinion to yourself. Keep it. Keep it. Keep your opinion to yourself. I'm in a place in my life where all the hell I've been through, I have literally turned and tuned my ears to God's voice. Keep your opinion. I'm in a place in my life where I rub a I'm yawning to hear from him so much. Mighty God. Keep your opinion. Other people's opinion will have you stuck frustrated, broke, busted, disgusted, alone, angry, full of unforgiveness, other people's opinions. Well, have you in a place where you begin to lose your own identity? Somebody put in the comment section, I just need to find me again. So don't be upset if you finally see me smiling. You don't understand what I overcame. Don't be upset if you finally see me happy. You don't understand the fire pit I just came out of. Don't get upset if you see me celebrating. You don't understand. Hallelujah, what I just went through, don't. Don't get upset. Somebody put in the comment section, don't get upset. To you, the one that's watching this video, the Lord is literally saying, do you hear me, Christina Martin? 
The Lord is saying this season for you, it's called you deserve it all and more. And let me tell you something, woman of God. The Lord is saying because of your humbleness, because you don't mind being in the background, because your name ain't got to be on the flyer, because people don't got to know how much. You got to put your hands to things. God is saying, I'm calling you forth. This season is your and more season. Because everything you did, you didn't need credit for. Because somebody put in the comment section, the caterpillar never gets the credit it deserves. Everybody want to honor the butterfly. But baby, it's the caterpillar that got to be wrapped up in a dark space in a cocoon, hanging upside down. No food, no water. Glory be to God. Just to become something else great, the butterfly get the credit. The caterpillar never get the credit it deserves. And the Lord is saying that we are in a season, people of God. Everything we did behind closed doors to keep afloat, God is getting ready to bless us. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm overdue for a blessing. Come on, drop it. I'm overdue for a blessing. Uh, drop it. God, I've been making sure everybody else good. So I didn't make sure myself good. You get what I'm saying, Marquita Green? Marquita Green? We, we make sure everybody else good. That we forget to make sure we good. We got to make sure the children good. We got to make sure our significant others good. We got to make sure the church is good. We got to make sure our friends are good. I'm talking to some people who are not selfish. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying that it seems like servant. It's all in my blood. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying I serve everybody else. I make sure everybody else good. I am in a place in my life where if God is saying I'm walking into my season, if I deserve it all and more. Baby, I, oh Jesus Christ, I deserve it. Somebody put and more. This 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 the season, Marquetta. This is the season, baby. I decree and declare Rabakosaya right now. I decree and declare. Hear me and hear me well. Woman of God, that this season, this tax season to the 2024 slash 2025 tax season is about to blow your mind. They think Rabakosaya. They jealous of you and your state. I hear the Lord saying, I gotta bless you so you can buy back, buy back the block. So, oh, Jesus Christ, hear me and hear me well. I'm talking to you, my quitter. I hear the Lord saying, 2024 and 2025 is about to be so big for you. Why? Because you gotta buy back the block. You gotta go back and rebuild what is being, oh, Jesus, destroyed and taken down in your community. So God say, I got to bless you. It's not about the finances because you always had money. God is saying, before you knew who I was, you had money then. So you've never been hard up for money. Your heart is just pure. But sometimes I hear God. Sometimes even the one that's doing it all get a little heavy burden. God said, this season is your season of I deserve it all and more. It's because of your faithfulness. Somebody put in the comment section, I've been faithful. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I hear the God, I, I, I hear the Holy Spirit, and I hear God saying to tell you, do not give up. He said, this season won't be like last season. Last season wasn't the greatest for you. This season won't be like last season. You already stressed out of about November and about December when God is saying to you, I already got it under control. You are already, glory be to God, stressed out. You better hear me and hear me well. Hallelujah. About your finances. And some of you are saying, okay, God, January came. You remember the night of December the 31st. Hallelujah. At 12 a.m. Hallelujah. Last year, 11.58 p.m. going into 12 a.m. You told God, 2022 almost broke me down. 2023, I struggled. You just said, God, 2024. I just want to live in peace and be blessed. And there are some of you, because we are almost out of October, you got literally 
threw in the towel and God said you quit or you at what point in your life huh, you gonna get tired of rubber Kosiah, huh? hallelujah huh? hallelujah not finishing things you're starting I hear God huh? God is saying you're quit or you huh? rubber Kosiah, huh? at what point are you gonna say huh? I'm tired of giving up huh? God is saying you quit or you huh? at what point huh? hallelujah are you gonna stick it out huh? until it manifests huh? somebody put in the comment section huh? no more quitting for me huh? I don't care huh? how hard it gets huh? I'm not giving up huh, until God show up. Oh, baby, that's a sermon all by itself. If this rental car wasn't so small, I was sitting in this little convertible rental car they gave me. I would jump out of it and scream. But, baby, I'm a big girl. It's going to take me a minute to get back down in the seat. Uh, I'm talking to you, uh, the one that's watching this video. Uh, you better hear me with your good ear. I give the Holy Spirit saying to you, baby, it's all working out. I don't care what it look like. It's working out. I don't care how bad it feel. It's working out. I don't care how much anxiety it's giving you. It's working out. Come on. I, I, I want to take about 120 seconds. Just two minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. For you to drop in the comment section. You guys, all of those pages that saying Shakira McFadden in the comment section. Let me say that. I'm blocking them as they come up. Those pages are fake. There is no link that I'm doing with a raffling. There's no link where I'm giving away prizes. I don't have any orphanages. Use wisdom. If it don't say, just because it got my profile picture, they make fake pages of me. If it don't say Shakira McFadden with a blue check next to it, it's not me. Okay? I just wanted to throw that out there because I blocked like three or four of them I've seen in the comments. It's not me. If it don't say Shakira McFadden with a blue check with half a million followers, it's not me. You, the one that's watching this video, it's all working out. So for the next 120 seconds, I want you to put in the comment section what God is working out. Whether it's the court case, put court case, it's working out. Whether it's saving your children, saving my children, it's working out. Whether it's your finances, God is working it out. Whether it's the bills, God is working it out. Whether it's the business, God is working it out. Why? Because you are walking into your season of you deserve it all and more. Baby, I don't just deserve it all. I deserve it all and more. Do you get what I'm saying to you, Shay Reddy? You deserve it all and more. Do you get what I'm saying to you, Nicole? I see you on Woman of God. You deserve it all and more. God, I went through so much hell, but I'm waiting on my season of and more. And you still got two months left, baby, two, two, a good two months and a week. Oh, I need that week too. Because at any moment, God can show up. Somebody put at any moment. When God is getting ready to bless you and you're walking into your season of you deserve it all and more. Prepare for the attacks. I need you to hear me because some of y'all don't understand why you are being attacked so bad. Hear what I'm saying to you, Kalana. I'm talking to y'all who are on your right now. You're being attacked because the devil has to do anything in his power from getting you to walk into your season of and more. Hear me. He has to keep your feet like cement. He has to keep your mind where you all over the place. He has to have you all caught up in your feelings and in your emotions. This is why you are a target. This is why you're being attacked. You are walking into your season of I deserve it all and more. And it's about to be a lot of upset people. There are a lot of people who didn't believe in you. Why? Because you, was, you wasn't in a good space. In life, there are a lot of people who you love that turned on you. There are a lot of people who forgot about you. But God is saying, I never forgot. And God is saying, I don't forget. Go, Jesus. Somebody put in the comment section, God doesn't forget. He said, I don't forget. Whatever you're needing God to do, God said, baby, I got two months and a week to do it. Oh! Somebody put that in the comment section. Ooh, and that's 27, baby. Two months. Two months is the number two. 
And a week is seven days. Baby, that's my confirmation. God just gave me that in the spiritual realm. Y'all, my followers who really follow me, they know what the number 27 means. God said, I'm going to I got two months and a week to still do it. Come on, he got all of November. He got all of December. And he got seven days left in October to come through for you. I got two months and a week to do it. Somebody put in the comment section the number 27. That means your two months. In a week, watch God show up. Two months in a week. Trina Daniel, baby, he ain't got just two months. He got two months in a week. If you're going to drop it in the comment section because you're using your fingers to prophesy of your, yourself, be specific. My God, the healer. My God, the provider. My God, the protector, my God, the way maker, still got two months and a week to do it for you, the one that's watching this video, and you ready to quit. Child, please. What you look like quitting the day when tomorrow might be the day you win? Oh, I'm talking to you. Let me, let me get in the light so you can see me. Please. What you like, look like giving up today when tomorrow might be the day you win? Tomorrow might be the day they finally approve your lawsuit. Tomorrow might be the day, hallelujah, they approve uh 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 yo whatever you 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 done apply for. Tomorrow might be the day they release the keys. What you look like giving up today when tomorrow might be the day you win? I see my cousin Drill Gibson on. Listen, let me give her this shot. I'm so proud of you. If you are looking for a good braider in Fort Lauderdale, hit up Drill Gibson. Sit cuz. Put your phone number in the bottom. Um, your phone number. Um, drop it in the comment section with your name. I'm so proud of you. I'm telling you, you you done came a long way, a long way. I love you. Um, let, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I hear the Lord saying, "What you look like giving up today, when tomorrow might be the day you win." Who is God to you? Who, who, what he done done for you? Do you see him as a way maker? A miracle worker? A healer? What, baby, what you, what do you see him as? What do you see him as? Tell me. Who is he to you? What do you see him as? What do you, what, what do you see him as? I just blocked another one of those fake Shakira McFadden pages. When y'all get off, if it say click a link, it's not me. I don't, I, it's not me. Drop that, that phone number, Andrea. Let me tell y'all something. If God is for you, who can be against you? I get so many calls from people I counsel. And I, I got this one young lady called me the other day and she said, um, I, I, I got a, you know, she got a real good job and she like, I've been late on this job. You get three times in five years or something or something. I forgot two years or something. And they terminate you. And the Lord told me to go and tell her what well, is third time they going to dismiss it. And she was, oh my gosh, she had so much anxiety. I can't lose my job. And da -da -da -da. I said, girl, chill out. Watch what's going to happen. She called me back 48 hours later. They gave me my job. They deleted it. They deleted that last, um, I, I still got one more time left before they fire me. Let me tell y'all something. We stress about things that God already got worked out. Who is he to you? Who is he to you? What is impossible with man is possible with God. What is impossible with man is possible with God, man. I see so many people giving up. Why? When God still got two months and a week to do it. You made your New Year's resolu uh, resolutions, baby. You told God do it in 2024. You can't make him do it in the beginning of the year. Do you get what I'm saying to you, Kimberly Ann? You can't, God still got two months and a week to do it. He got two months and a week to do it. And we got to be able to trust him. The, the, the current state you are in right now is not your final destination. The Do you hear what I'm saying to you, semi cops? The, I hear the Lord saying the current state, the Nabucco Shire, semi cops. I hear the Lord saying the current state that you are not, that you are in is not your final state. 
He's the Rebecca Saga. Simi Kaz, I hear the Lord saying, He's telling me to say it over and over and over to you again because you have this thing where you always got to act like you got it together even when you don't. God is saying, I see all and know all. And He said to tell you that what you are waddling in right now, what you're believing Him for, what seems so heavy, it's not the final stage. God is saying, I still got time to do it if you would just trust me. He said to tell you, woman of God, you know know him you love him but you don't fully trust him trust him hallelujah without doubt he said to tell you you're bringing your own self-anxiety your own self-anxiety if you would just give it over to him i get the lord saying just give it over to him he said to tell you just give it over to him all of it janisha Gilmore, God is breaking generational curses out of him, out of you and off of you. He said, because you want them so badly to the point people don't even understand. Sometimes I even get the Lord saying to tell you, um, um, woman of God, um, um, Miss Gilmore to tell you that sometimes you sit in silence. It's not because you don't want to interact with people, but because you're attentive, God allows you, hallelujah, to see things and to hear things. And God is saying in this season, woman of God, before this year is out, God got two months and a week to do it. He's going to sharpen your eyesight in such a way you will see demons coming from miles away it's almost like <coughs> excuse me the season that you're in is almost requiring you to be silent it's requiring you to be silent because God is making you see it's requiring you to be silent because God is making you see and he's saying I gotta break these things off of you but you gotta be able to see in the spiritual realm so it's not uh, 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 um, the sense that you are silent and you are quiet. It's more of I'm attentive. God is saying, pay attention. Being attentive, being attentive. He said, being attentive, pay attention. Somebody drop in the comment, comment section. God allowed me to see. God allowed me to see. I'm t that was for Janisha Gilmore, but somebody else should have been re re uh, 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 receiving that. Somebody else should be receiving that. Mona, Mona. Um, the Lord is saying to tell you, uh, woman of God. I don't know if she's still on. I've seen the comment about two minutes ago. Her name. Um, Mona, Mona. The Lord is telling me to tell you, woman of God, watch out for leeches. He said 2024 has been more of people uh, latching on you and sucking you dry. When I say latching on you and sucking you dry, woman of God, it's almost like they're draining you of your joy, draining you of your peace. Hallelujah. Like draining you of your emotions, draining you of your feelings. It's not even financial. God is saying it's like leeches, like leeching onto you. Let me drop all my problems on you. Let me tell you about my situation. Um, let me, let me pull on your strength. God is saying, watch out for leeches. You need to pray against that spirit of leech. You know, when leeches jump on you, they suck all the blood out of you. In the spiritual realm, a leech can jump on you and suck the life out of you. I get the Lord for you, Mona Mona. <clears throat> The Lord is saying, watch out for leeches. Watch out for leeches. I hear God. Watch out for leeches. Calandra Perry, I hear the Holy Spirit saying to tell you, woman of God, slow down a little bit. He's saying you're overlooking things. Slow down a little bit. He said, because you are anxious about Koshiah to figure it out, God is saying you're doing it wrong. It's not for you to figure it out, woman of God. It's for him to figure it out and for you to just trust him. The Lord is saying, slow down a little bit. You're making decisions out of emotions. He's saying, slow down a little bit. God is saying, oh, a woman of God, that there's no peace. And because you have no peace, hallelujah, you cannot, glory be to God, figure out what went on with your child's death. Adabakosiah. He said, Oh, Jesus. Jesus. It's so weird. It's, it's, it's almost as if I feel like needles being shot uh, in my brain right now. 
So you might find yourself, woman of God, getting migraines, like stressing. She's in a whole nother uh, 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 a state, not in my area, but you almost might feel like lately you've been having like migraines and headaches out the blue, like you're not functioning at your best ability because you're trying to be detective and God is saying, I'm detective. Slow down so you don't overlook things. I hear the Holy Spirit saying it's almost as if the enemy is like literally poking you with a knife in your head almost. If you understand what I'm saying. Like literally trying to cause pain. Woman of God, the Lord is saying slow down. Slow down. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. I, I, I hear the Holy Spirit saying, woman of God. To, to tell you, like, I, I, it, it's a lot for you in pertaining to the, the, the loss of your child. But God is saying, slow down a little bit. <laughs> you, you, you cannot hear from me because you're trying to do it yourself. <laughs> Instead of letting God do it. A, a woman of God, are you still on? If you're on, just let me know you're on. I've seen her name way earlier. God is saying, I'm, I got you, but you can't have you. The problem we have sometimes, people of God, is we want to do it all by ourselves. And God is saying, move over. There are certain giants you come up against. There are certain mountains you face, hallelujah, that you cannot do in your own strength. You cannot. Tonight's message, people of God, for the ones that was watching, it's called, this season is called, I deserve it all and more. I deserve it all. Arabakosaya and more. I deserve it all. And more. Uh, uh, Tiffany Taylor. I've seen the name Tiffany Taylor. Uh, Tiffany Taylor. Uh, if you are on, I want you to comment below. I'm on. I see the name Tiffany Taylor. Tiffany Taylor, if you are on, I want you to comment below. Um, I'm on. Just hold on, you guys. It's a bunch of comments coming up. Tiffany Taylor, if you are on, I want you to comment below. I'm on. Somebody put in the comment section, hallelujah. Do me a favor um, and put in the comment section, I deserve it all and more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's so many comments that are coming up. Glory to God. Semi Cobbs, I released, hallelujah, a prophetic word over you, woman of God. Tell me um, if you have received it. I am learning, people of God, that as long as you are genuine, that as long as you are real, as long as you are good to people, good will always come back to you. And I'm telling you, people of God, the Lord began to deal with me on tonight. And he said, baby, I'm blessing you, hallelujah, because of everything that you've sacrificed for others. Y'all who are watching, who are on this live right now, you better hear me and hear me well. You better begin to tell people don't feel some kind of way when you see me walking with my head up. I'm not stuck up. I just was stuck in a bad place in my life for a moment. And I'm just happy to be out. I'm not stuck up. I was just stuck in depression for a long time. I'm not stuck up. I'm I feel God. I was just stuck. Hallelujah. And struggling and boring. At one point. Hear me and hear me well. This next season. For you the one that's watching this video. It's called I deserve it all and more. So when they see you with your head up. When they see you smiling and it's genuine, baby, it's genuine this time. I'm not faking it to make it. When people ask me how I'm doing, I'm not saying I'm just blessed and highly favored. No, baby, I'm smiling from the inside. When you catch me with a spirit of joy all over me, don't judge me. You don't understand what I just came out of. Hallelujah. When you catch me. Praising God. Don't judge me when you catch me showing off the keys. Don't judge me. You don't understand I was sleeping on somebody else's couch. People will judge you. Not even understand the situation you was just in. Somebody put, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I deserve it all and more. When you've been good to people, 
God said, I won't forget you. I deserve it all to the Messiah and more. When you've been good to people, the Lord began to deal with me. I'm telling you, the Lord began to say, the same young lady who laid, hallelujah, on that stainless steel bed, hallelujah, behind a cell, who didn't know who God was, the same young lady who enjoyed sleeping with the same sex, having threesomes with her husband, God said the same young lady huh, who spent most of her days huh, getting high to numb the pain of the rape. Huh. God said the same young lady huh, who they talked about like a dog because huh, she lost her virginity to her brother. Huh. So oh, Jesus, huh, God said the same young lady huh, who was counted out. Huh, hear me and hear me well. Huh. God said the same young lady huh, who sat on the block selling drugs. Huh, the same young lady huh, who got 22 mug shots. Huh, the same young lady Lady. It's the same young lady that deserve it all. Somebody should put in the comment section, I'm the same one. Put that, baby, I'm the same one. I know you don't think God should bless me, but you don't know how much I was in my prayer closet. I know you don't think I deserve it, but God is saying the same one. I'm the same young lady. You the one that's watching this video. I decree and declare right now over your life. This season is booked and busy for you. Oh, Jesus. Baby, I don't care if you stop doing that. You better start back. This your season of you deserve it all and more. I don't care if you washing cars. Was washing cars. You better, you better, you better get, whoa. I don't care if you was cooking collard greens, ham hogs, neck bones, hallelujah, and pizza on the side. Baby, you better get back to it. Why? Because I decree and declare huh, over every business owner right now. Huh, this season for you is called booked and busy. Huh, I decree and declare huh, over every minister that is watching. Huh, this season is called huh, booked and busy huh, to the ones who are on the nine to five. Huh, I decree and declare huh, this season for you is called huh, no more minimum wage. You should put it there if you're a business owner or a minister, a minister. I want you to put in the comment section, booked and busy. What? If you somebody working on a nine to five, baby, we can't judge you. Who? I don't flip burgers and everything too. But watch this. I get the Lord saying it won't be at minimum wage pay. Sure won't. Sure won't. If you are somebody right now, you living off governmental assistance, you should put in the comment section. It won't always be like this. Sure won't. I preach my way out section eight. Who? Oh, I'm a realist. Till I got the keys. And did. And did. But let me tell you something. Never in a million years would I thought me, I got a mouthful of gold teeth, took them out. I'll be over in Africa. Never in a million years I, I, I thought I'd be in Hawaii. Never in a million years I thought I would be in China. Never, I'm go shire. Never in a million years I thought I would be in Belize. Never in a million years I thought I would be in the Bahamas. Never in a million years I thought I'd be in Jamaica. Never in a million, man, I done touched so many countries and states. Never in a million years. And God is saying you the one that deserve it. So to you the one that's watching this video, you better stop playing with my God. He said, I got two months and one week to do it. That's that confirmation number 27, baby, for me. He got a week left in October, and he still got all of November and December to do it for you. Stop playing on my God top. I don't know why, because you got that little petty quitting spirit on you that you think he ain't going to come through, but you better get out your feelings. He said, I still got time to do it. Somebody put two months in seven days. I mean, two months in, in a week. Two months in a week. Drop the number 27 in the comment section. Ooh, I, I, I feel God. God said, I got two months in a week to do it. I still got time to save the relationship. I still got time to have your, go sire, your name being mentioned in rooms. Hallelujah, you haven't stepped in. He said, I'm go sire. He said, I still got time. God still got time. Why you ride your moping and claim, um, complaining and wanting to give up? What you talking about, man? That problem is small to a big God. What you talking about? Ain't no way I'm going to let you give up today when tomorrow might be the day you win. Stop playing with my God. You pray for it as a New Year's resolution for God to do it. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 uh. Last year, December, you pray all the way up. Hallelujah. To, from 1158 going into 12 a.m. of 2024. Why you give it up? 
He still got two months and a week to do it. Give my God all his time. He a last minute on time God. You the one that's watching this video. You are about to walk into your season of I deserve it all and more. They about to be really mad with you. Somebody put in the comment section, big mad, big mad. Said I could do it. I could still give you the baby. I could still make you pregnant. I could still save your children. I could still give your body. I could still make you fall in love with your husband again or fall in love with your wife again. I could still do it. I could still save the business. I could do it. He said, I could help you beat the court case. I could do it. I could help you win the lawsuit. He said, I can do it. I got two months and a week to do it. What you talking about, man? I could still save your children. Somebody put in the comment section, God still can. I just uploaded somebody next book, next Facebook status. And I'm going to tell you what your next day's Facebook status should be. Watch this. I am walking into my season of I deserve it all and more. And you better put and more in capital letters and tag me in it. God has not forgotten about you. He said, I got two months and one week left to do it. And although you got that little petty quitting spirit on you because it just seemed too hard. He said, stop playing with me. He said, I've watched you overcome so many other things. This is small to you. And I still got time to do it. Oh, Jesus. Somebody put God show up. Come on, drop it. God, God show up. God, God, God show up. He said, I still got time to do it. I know you needed your own place in the beginning of the year, but so what? I'm going to give it to you in the end of the year. I still got time to do it. I got two months in a week. You going to give up on me before you see the miracle? I know you needed a new car because the other one's ticking, tapping, tires going flat, engine almost high, AC ain't working. You got to ride with the windows down when it's raining. God said, I know. I know you needed it like yesterday. Hallelujah. Since the beginning of the year, but I wanted to bless you in the end of the year. Yeah, man, listen, God still still got time to do it he do he do so what do you look like giving up today when tomorrow might be the day you win two months and a week is the number 27 i'm gonna move while i hear the waters are stirring and you better pray and ask god because there are some of you that are watching you know this life was for you you needed it. It's like it, you was running on E and it, it gave you gas and fuel again. I want you to pray and ask God, should you sow this $27 seed into my ministry? First of all, people who follow me for real, they know 27 is that confirmation number for me. And I always drop testimonies. There are some of you, the phone number is to the bottom of the screen. 754-971-3301. And I ain't finna prolong this because you knew if this message was for you. You getting ready to sow your two months and one week seed, which is $27. I'm pleading Psalm 27. Psalm 27 is a scripture that come over your enemies. Hear me and hear me well. You you better hear me. Hunter Kalinda said, this woman of God is real. So, so, so I sold it. My God, in two days, I was blessed today with a 2025 SUV. Congratulations. Somebody drop congratulations. I don't even know who that is. I get so many people sewing into me. Congratulations, baby. Be happy for God. What you need God to do for you. Hallelujah. You be happy for somebody else. Anybody who waiting on keys. Drop that in the comment section. Congratulations to that baby. I'm telling you, don't play with it. Come on, run and sew. Run and sew. You're sowing that $27 seed. And when you sow that $27 seed, I want you to put in the memo section. God, do it like yesterday. God, I needed you to count this as of yesterday. Do it. God, do it. Do it like yesterday. Yesterday is already complete. Meaning, God, I need you to do this ASAP. Come on and, and, and sow that $27 seed. The phone number is at the bottom of the screen. 754-971-3301. That is for Cash App and Apple Pay only. I got other ways for you guys to give. I have Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Viral, Givelify. I'm going to put that up after. But I want the people of God who know that this is for them to run and sow that $27 seed, 754-971-3301. And as you begin to put in the number, put in the full phone number, and to Dr. Shakira McFadden pop up, I'm in a black dress because they made fake cash out to me. Y'all better get the sewing. Y'all better get the sewing. 
That woman of God just released the testimony in this atmosphere that was that was already stirred up. Come on, there are some of you, you say, Dr. Shakira McFadden. I'm showing, give me a second, I'm going to give you the Zelle information, you guys. Just hold on. This is for Cash App and Apple Pay only. If you want to sow, you'll wait to hear the phone number. As you're sowing the $27, there are some of you, you're going to sow $27, hallelujah, for your health. And there are some of you that are going to sow, hear me and hear me well, you're going to sow $27 for the hallelujah. Jesus. I get the Holy Spirit say you're going to sow $27 for your finances. There are some of you that are watching, you're literally saying, I'm behind in bills. You're saying I'm behind in bills and I really don't even have this $27, but I don't even have the full amount for the light bill. I get the Lord saying, trust me with it. Do not sow in my, into my ministry unless the Lord is leading you to because I need your faith to line up with what I'm saying. You're walking into your season of I deserve it all and more. So there are some of you that are watching. Watch this. There are some of you that are watching. You're sowing that $27 seed. Watch this. You're sowing that $27 seed. There are some of you that are watching. You say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, if I sold $27 for every issue and every problem I got, I'll be sowing all day long. I get the Lord saying to tell you to sow a seed of $47. This $47, people of God, is a seed, an all-around seed. And you're saying, God, I need you to do it in every area of my life. Yes, I got on a black dress, baby. Put in the full phone number, 754-971-3301. And Dr. Shakira McFadden is going to pop up. Dr. Shakira McFadden is going to pop up. If you got prophesied to on tonight, I want to challenge you to sow that $47 seed. I'm telling you, when the word go forth, you, you got to put speed on your need. If you are somebody who's going through it, hallelujah, and I prophesied on tonight, I want you to sow that $47 seed onto the word. I don't even remember the names I called. You know if it was you. If I called your name at any moment, I want you to sow that $47 seed. 754-971-3301. That is for Apple Pay and Cash App only. Apple Pay and Cash App only. Oh, God. If you are somebody, hold on. Just give me about two more minutes and I'm going to put up the other ways to give. I also have, um, I also, people of God, have um, um, Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Varo, GiveLify. Just give it a moment. If you are somebody, listen to me, please, and listen to me well. If you are somebody <clears throat> who are waiting for keys to be released, I want you to sow $47.27. You're not sowing $27. You're not sowing $47. I want you to sow $47.27. Listen to me. And as you've sold the $47.27, I want you to put favor on my key. God, I feel God. I feel God. Don't sow. Hear me and hear me. Well, I said, do not sow into my ministry unless the Lord is leading you to. Because I need your faith to line up with what I'm believing God for. If you are believing God for any type of keys, I don't care if it's car keys, house keys, business funding. I want you to sow the 4727. If you are somebody, listen, who is going through it in your relationship and you need God to mend the relationship, I want you to sow a $40 seed. Y'all got to follow instructions. If you're sowing for keys, you're sowing 4727. Once you put a seed in the ground, I want you to put the amount you sowed with the word done. I'm getting ready to call out some names. Once you put a seed in the ground, I want you to sow the amount you sowed with the word done. The, the amounts on tonight that I called out, God has two months and a week left to do it. That's the number 27. The original seed amount tonight was $27. And if you're sowing the $27, you're putting, God, I need it like yesterday. Meaning, God, I need you to do it right now for your situation. If you're sowing the $47, you're sowing an all-around seed. You're putting the memo section all-around seed. God, I got multiple places I need you to sow. Okay? Now, if you are somebody who's believing God for keys, you're sowing 4727. 
4727. I want you to put in the comment section 4727. And in the comment section, you're putting on that release the key. If you are somebody who need God to mend your marriage or your relationship, if it's on the rocks, I want you to put in the comment section, you're sowing a $40 seed, 20 for you and 20 for your significant other. And the reason you're sowing 40 is because you need to be equally yoked. God, get us back in a place where we both love each other again. God, get us back in a place where we both believe in our marriage again. God, get us back in a place, God, where we're walking on one accord again. Get us back in a place, oh God, where I'm lifting him up and he's lifting me up again. This is why you're sowing a $40 seed. It's an equally yoked seed. And you're putting in the memo section of that, God fix my relationship. $40 seed. $40 seed. $40 seed. Semi Cobbs, I, I didn't even know that, baby. When I called you out to prophesy over you, I don't even know you. The woman of God say, why are you all on me tonight? I'm supposed to be celebrating nine years. That's how you know this message was for you, baby. It's all God. It's all God. I pray God mend, mend it for you. It's all God. Listen, you guys. God has two months and seven days to do it. Let, I'm getting ready right now to pin to the bottom of the screen the phone number. I'm going to put back up the information, you guys, for um, Cash App and Apple Pay. Just give me a second. I'm changing it for one moment. The number that's pinned at the bottom of the screen right now is the phone number. This is for Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Varo, and Givelify. With Givelify, I can send you a link, you guys, and you can just pay with your card. Or you can download the Givelify app or go on the Givelify website and type in Shakira McFadden Ministries or that phone number at the bottom. Or you can click the link in my bio on Facebook and it'll take you directly to there. Let me drop the Givelify link in the, in the comment section. The phone number, you guys, 754-246. It zero five eight zero. It's for Zelle. Um, it's for Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Varo, Venmo and Varo Bank, Venmo, Varo and Givelify. If you're sewing via Zelle, Gum Ministries is gonna pop up. G U M Ministries for God use me. Trinet, how oh, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you in Texas. Um, you guys, I'll be in Texas in three weeks ministering with Jacqueline Carr. I'm going on tour with her. Um, with your Kaylin card, Sunshine Psalms. Let me, I'm sending you the phone. I'm sending you the Apple Pay is, is, I mean, um, the, the phone number for Cash App is 754-246-0580, but it's going to pop up Dr. Shakira McFatten. Just give me a second. I'm going to pin it back up, you guys. 754-246-0580. It's for Zelle. Um, Gum Ministries is going to pop up. G-U-M Ministries for God. Use me. It's for Chime. Same phone number for PayPal. It's for Venmo Bank and Varo Bank. Y'all check out those apps. They're just like Cash App. Really good. Um, Venmo Bank and Varo Bank. And Givelify is going to pop up Shakira McFadden Ministries. Just give me about five more minutes because people are still sewing. Give me about five more minutes because people are still sewing. A lot of people are sewing and jumping off. You guys, please jump back on. I hate when y'all do that. You got to always let people bless your seed. Okay, I'm getting ready right now to put back up the phone number for Apple Pay and Cash App. Listen, you guys, if you are somebody that's battling witchcraft, listen to me. I said God still got two months and a week to do it, which is 27. Two months and seven days is 27. If you are somebody that's battling witchcraft right now, you feel like somebody got something on you, I want you to run and sow that $27 seed and put in the memo section, break the witchcraft. Psalm 27 backs up the enemy. Psalm 27 explains how God, hallelujah, uh, 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 comes against anything or anybody coming up against you. I want you to put in the memo section, break the witchcraft if you're sowing the Psalms 27 seed. There are some of you that are watching right now. I literally hear the Lord saying that you're genuinely saying, I genuinely don't have that. I want to sow it, but I don't have it. 
I want the ones that are saying that right now to run and sow the seed of $12.50. You're saying, God, I'm sowing half of it with this twelve dollars and fifty cent. Watch this. You're sowing your best seed. So you're going to put in the comment section for my best. Come on. Come on. We can't make excuses tonight. I'm going to give it about three more minutes for my best. Hold on, you guys. I want to call out some. I want to call out right now. Um some names of people who sold if you sold i want you to put the amount you sold you sold with the word done the amount you sold with the word done come on there are some of you that was watching you say dr shakir McFadden, i didn't have that 27 dollars. you better run and sow that 12 dollars and 58 cent it's my best seed it's all i got god bless my best somebody put in the comment section god bless my best Simi Cobb say i put 47 and done put the amount and done let me call out some names really quickly there are some of you, I get the Holy Spirit saying the seed is not for you, but the seed is actually glory to God for somebody else you love. The seed is not for you, but it's for somebody else you love. Go and put that seed in the ground. The woman of God with phone number ending in 1300 over on Apple Pay. You sold that all around seed. I'm in agreement with you, dear. I'm in agreement with you. Phone number ending in 1300. Phone number ending in, hold on, 2227. You really should be sewing, baby. You got 27 in your phone number. Phone number ending in 20, 20, 2227. I'm in agreement with you. I'm talking about Apple Pay, you guys. Just hold on. Phone number ending in, it's a bunch of people sewing. Let me call out some of these names right now for Cash App. Hold on, you guys. And, and it's too many names to, let me put this on here so y'all can see I don't be faking the phone. Like people be sewing because really people really believe like in my ministry and they've seen miracles. You see that? I can't make this up, okay? There's a bunch of people sewing, okay? So please be patient. I'm getting ready to call out some names. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. Let me call out some names. Uh, Candy Edwards, I receive your seed. Nicola gallon seed receiving i'm not saying if it's 47 27 i'm just calling out the names y'all sheree perkins seed receive leticia moore seed receive alexis jones seed receive i like to put people names in the atmosphere janisha gilmore seed receive denisha dotson seed receive drill love seed receive love you cuz Jalissa David, Seed Receive, Stephanie Clark, Seed Receive, Paula Tillman, Seed Receive, Kalinda, Seed Receive, LaCicia Craddith, y'all excuse me if I pronounce it wrong, L-Y-C-I-S-I-A, Seed Receive, J-J-N, Joy, Mommy, Seed Receive, LaDonna, Seed Receive, Teresa Campton, Tally, Seed Receive, Tiffany Taylor, Seed Receive, Callie, Seed Receive, Adriana, Seed Receive, Tasha Lewis, Seed Receive, Dana Cotman, Seed Receive, um, Evangela Harden, Seed Receive, JJ N. Enjoy mommy sold twice. God bless you. Double portion. Janisa Gilmore sold twice. God bless you. Double por portion. Brittany Lewis. Seed receive. Tiffany Taylor. Seed receive. Paula Tillman. Seed receive. Alexis Jones. Seed receive. Genovia Jones. Seed receive. Tiffany Taylor sold again. God bless you. Double portion. Chanteria Miller. Seed receive. Nana White. N-A-H-N-A. -N -A. Seed receive. Nana White. Chanel, Seed Receive, Geneva Wiley, Seed Receive, Kalinda, Seed Receive, Latoya Simmons, Seed Receive, Jamila Madsenson, Seed Receive. There's a lot of people sowing that all around Seed. Just give me a second. Alexis Williams, Seed Receive. There's a bunch of people sowing. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every person on tonight, God, who sold their best. Bless the ones who sold, God, the 4727. Bless the ones, God, who sold the $47, the $27, the $12.50. Bless the ones who sold $3, $1, $2, whatever they sold, God. I ask, oh God, that it comes back 1,000 fold. God, even bless the ones who will watch this as a replay i decree and declare that even though they watch the live at a later time that their seed will still produce a harvest i pray god that the seed amount come back 1000 fold in the name of jesus god i thank you that you're opening doors for the things they're needing you to do god do it you still have time to do it before the year is out bless 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 the ones god who genuinely don't have it to give i ask that you show up and show out like never before father 
for him. Do it for him because you are mighty and you are powerful. In Jesus' name, amen. I see the woman of God said, somebody please sow for me. Evangela put, yes, she will. Evangela, are you sowing for the woman of God love? Oh, I see that Pastor Totney Bynes is on. How are you, man of God? If you are on and you are from Jacksonville, since we have them on, do me a favor and drop in the comment section that you drop the word Jacksonville. Or if you are in Jacksonville or near Jacksonville, I will be in Jacksonville the first weekend of December ministering. If you are in Jacksonville, I have a lot of followers in Jacksonville and near Jacksonville. The, the flyer is actually on my Facebook page. Let me see it. Hold on. Because I want to show it. Pastor Tony Bonds, if you are available to come on, I'll bring you on right now. So you can tell them what you got going on in Jacksonville. Um, but if you are in Jacksonville, somebody put it in the comment section, Jacksonville. One second, you guys, I'm pulling up this flyer. I see my publishers on Soraka. I'm sorry for your loss, babe. Listen, you guys, if you need a book published, when I tell you, Bay is the best. Bay is the best. Soraka, can you come on right now? It's literally 11,000 people watching right now, you guys. Let me show y'all. So y'all don't think I be making that up. Because Facebook show y'all one thing. But on my end, because my page is a public figure page, it actually shows how many people are watching. Do you see that? 11,000 plays. Okay? 123 shares. We got 4,300 comments on tonight. I cannot make this up. Okay? Because I, you know, when I save it, you'll see it. Okay? Hold on, you guys. Let me pull this up. Soraka, can you come on, baby? This your time to tell these people of God what you do. You're one of the best book publishers out. She's my personal book publisher. And she has a Shakira McFadden special. All my people I send to her, baby, she don't even play. Hold on. Hold on. Nicole, I've been told you to go to her. Stop playing with me. You're going to quit playing with anointing on your life. One day you're going to take it serious. Here it is. Jacksonville, I'm headed your way, baby. I will be in Jacksonville December the 8th at 10 a.m. I'll be there all weekend, but December the 8th. Um, and I will be there at 1523 Chaffee Road, South Jacksonville, Florida, 32221. And that is with Pastor Totney Bynes. I love that man of God. I met him one time. I love his spirit. I love his spirit. Okay, okay, you guys, Jacksonville, y'all screenshot this. All my Jacksonville followers, screenshot this really quickly. Ooh, it's going to be hard to screenshot with the comments. Just go back on my page and look, okay? Go back on my page and look. If you are from Jacksonville or near Jacksonville, I need you to drop the word Jacksonville in the comment section. All right, Nicola, because you know I'm going to host that book release for you, babe. You, babe. I see a lot of my counseling session people on um, who I counsel. I love y'all so much, bro. Y'all just don't know. If you're trying to book a one-on-one -on -one counseling session with me, hit me up. Hit me up. If you are in Jacksonville, drop in the comment section, I'm in Jacksonville. I'm going to get it to you, Nicola. I'm going to get it to you. She's probably busy right now because that's why she didn't come on. Y'all, listen. Hold on. Soraka, send me a comment to come on if you could come on, babe. Send me a comment to come on. I see a bunch of my... Y'all, I got so much good news. Y'all just don't understand the way God been moving for me. Oh, God, I got so many things coming up, so many events. I'm going to just drop all my flights at once because I'm just posting them, posting them, posting them, posting them. Y'all, the month of February, let me tell y'all what I'm thinking about doing. Um, y'all know I'm, I think out the box and I don't care what nobody's saying. So I'm thinking about taking 10 people with me, 10 ministers, five men, 
five women the month of February we're gonna show love to strippers women in a strip club I'm literally going to order like a hundred teddy bears I'm gonna order um, a bunch of white roses um, I'm going to order a bunch of cards just saying like we love them because they get judged so much do you know that a lot of women in the strip club they in the strip club to pay off school to provide for their children because their father's not in their life it's just so much like the Lord I've been dealing with me about strippers I've led so many of them to Christ but we're literally going to go in the strip club and I'm gonna be on live to hold myself accountable so people can see and I'm taking five powerful ministering men and five powerful ministering women with me and we're literally going to go into the strip club in Miami Florida and we're gonna pass out bags that have teddy bears in them I'm probably gonna put Publix um, or Walmart gift cards in it if they have children I'm gonna put white roses in it baby um, some some bath and body words baby I'm gonna make them feel like the queens they are even if they coming down on the pole because God can turn them from strippers to praise dan dancers at any moment he took me from a drug dealer to a word deliverer don't tell me what my god won't do so y'all look out for that i'm going ham in 2025 baby listen you guys i am looking for a armor bearer it's that time for me i usually travel twice a month home um only and i'm home twice a month my schedule for november i'm booked Three times. I'm flying out three times in November. The flies are on my page. I can't even think of all the places. I'm flying out three times in December. I'm flying out three times in January. I'm booked twice already in February. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me. Somebody put in the comment section, God, send Shakira a genuine armor bearer. Please. Please, God, send me somebody. <laughs> Somebody who love you. Somebody who's walking the right life. Somebody who's loyal. Somebody who's faithful. Somebody who deserves to walk in rooms with me. Somebody I can help build up. Somebody I can pay $1,000 a week to. Oh, God, do it. Listen, y'all, pray for me. When I tell y'all I've been getting overwhelmed with my schedule, y'all, pray for me. I got an assistant. I need an armor bearer. Somebody, when I'm laying people out on the floor and casting out demons, they can get on top of them and pray. Somebody who praying hallelujah for me before I walk in, into a certain atmosphere. Y'all pray for me. Listen. No, Nicola, I can't use my daughter right now, baby. She going through, she only 20 years old. She going through her stage and when, when, when she come out of it, she going to be just as powerful as me. No, I can't use my daughter. Baby, 20 years old, she, she want to live her life right now. She in church every week. She's not a bad daughter. Like she... You know, I got good kids and I thank God for it. You know what I mean? But what I mean is like right now she's clubbing. She's hanging out with her friends. You know, she she doing her thing. All, all I can do as a mother is love and pray for her. Hold on, Soraka. I ain't seen it. Let me bring on my publisher, y'all. You got to get approved, Soraka. You just got to get approved. Listen, y'all, my publisher just lost her mother and she literally stopped working on everybody's books and everything. And I just was praying for her in the background. Let me introduce to you guys the person that does all my books. She's patient. She has packages where my life is so busy to where I literally have to record myself. Chapter one, da -da 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 -da. I talk it and send it over to her via WhatsApp, and she do what she do. So she does also, because I don't got time to be just writing. My life is busy. Sometimes God will give you information for a book at a red light. There are so many of you that are on right now. It's time for you to do the book. And I want to personally introduce you to the plug. She has a Shakira McFadden special. Um, Go. I think the special was 350 or something like that. But for the 350, she take care of your book. And sis, you gotta you gotta explain all that. I'm gonna let her explain. She does your cover photo on your book. Um, she does the book for you, she does the cover photo, she proofreads, she ghost writes whatever you need. And I am so protective of my platform. I do not just bring people on my platform. Y'all see me advertise one credit person, one um insurance person. I'm funny with that because I don't like people taking advantage of God's people. But she is somebody, sis. I need you to drop your number in the comments. 
comment section because they're getting ready to screenshot it. And she's going to tell you a little bit about what she got going on. And I want you to call her tonight. Call her, text her, blow her up and say, I need help. She has payment plans, all kind of stuff that my followers have went to her and got. And I need, hold on, I'm looking for it in the bottom so I can pin it. I don't see it yet. It's so many comments. We have 4,500 comments tonight. As soon as I see it, I can pin it. Comment it like two, three times so it can come up. I I, I need you guys to call and say, I need the Shakira McFadden special. It, it doesn't have to be done all at one time. She takes payments. We got to stop making excuses. Nicola, you better sign up. Nicole, you better sign up. You better sign up. It's not... Since it's not showing me the number the way you got it, I need you to put the number first and then put text stop the Shakira McFadden special so that it'll show up at the bottom. Okay. Nicola, call her tonight. You need to get started on that book. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Janisha. Janisha, this is did you put it? I don't see yeah. it yet. It's on there. Janisha, this the young lady I was just telling you about when I was just preaching in Texas in the woods. I need you to reach out to her, Janisha, for your book. She take payments. Don't worry about it. Nicola, when you get off, I'm going to make her call your phone personally. Pick up the phone. Okay. Hey, Chandra, Chandra, say I'm calling. I don't want y'all to wait. I still don't see the comments. Sis. That's how many comments on here. Oh, my God. Seven five. Tell me the phone number. Seven, tell me the phone number. Five four. Yeah. Two one four four three one three. Two one four four three one three. And she helps you with any state, you guys. Any state. Any state. All of my followers be all over the world. She be doing their books. She gonna ship your books right to your house. Hold on. Let me pin this. Um, sis, go ahead. Tell them what it is you do and a little bit of your, the name of your company, how many books you publish, how they can follow you on Facebook while I'm pinning this to the bottom. Yep, okay. we got it up. Hi, Everybody screenshot the phone I'm number and everything. Alaska, the publisher. I published a total of 76 books. Um, like Shakira says, um, Dr. McFadden is very busy, so she's always on the go, but she has several books that's in play that she paid for that she still haven't released yet. Make sure you guys go get the ones that she released on Amazon. Um, I cover all of the editing, the formatting, book cover design, ghost writing, um, illustrations for the children's books, pretty much everything. Your ISBN, hardcover, paperback, ebook, audio book. I do it all. Um, with the Dr. Shakira McFadden, you can text 754 214 4313. Put Shakira special. Text that to me and then I'll get to you guys. They, they said it a, a little bit louder. Just um, just just tell them again um, what all you do. I don't know. It's like they can't hear you. It's low on my end when I'm listening to you too. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I cover the editing, the formatting, the book cover design. Um, I do the illustrations for the children's book, the ghost writing. I do the ISBN number. I send off for your copyright. You guys can text 754-214-4313. Text Dr. Shakira McFadden special to me, and I will reach out back to you guys. I've published a total of 76 books. Tell them your Facebook, how to follow you. My Facebook is Soraka Rocca, S-C-I-R-O-C-C-A, R-O-C-C-A. And my Instagram is Soraka the Publisher. Yep, yep. Okay, you guys, I need y'all to do me a favor. My publishers jump off and call her. Nicola, screenshot that number. By the time I get off this live, she better tell me you you done call her. Co go, jump off, Nicola. I'm going to release you, sis. I need everybody to do me a favor. Go, 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 run right now. Text her, call her. I don't care what city state you in. You can write it out and send it over to her, your books. Or she has a special where you record your voice and send it to her through WhatsApp. Chapter one, this and this happened in my life. Chapter two, I went through this. And you record it. It's so much easier. I'm telling you. Go and get the Shakira McFadden special. This is my personal publisher. You can be in any state. So that the 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 pay the special is three fifty, but she lets you make payments. So if it take a total of a month, two months for you to finish the book, you could send her fifty dollars a week. No more excuses. No more excuses.
Do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. Go ahead and text her. Tell her I sent you. Stop playing. Listen, you guys. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Y'all go follow me on TikTok. I don't know what's going on with my TikTok page. Hold on. I need, I need, this is what I need my Facebook followers to do. Follow me on TikTok on my new page. Hold on. It's Evangelist Shakira M with a letter M at the end. The other one was Evangelist Shakira. 90,000 followers. I am pissed. I'm fighting to get my page back. I don't know what's going on with it. But I did start a new page in the meantime. That's it on the bottom. I, if you love me, I need you to jump off and hit the follow button on TikTok. Screenshot it so you can do it when you get off. Evangelist Shakira M. Evangelist Shakira M. Let me show y'all it. I could not wait around. Hold on, you guys. Let me show it. I'm going to turn the camera around. I need y'all. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you love me, I need y'all to go and help me blow this up. Y'all know I had 90,000 followers on TikTok. I'm fighting for my page back. Literally, you guys, screenshot that. Evangelist Shakira M. I'm fighting to get my page back, so I'm in dispute mode right now. But in the meantime, Evangelist Shakira M, y'all do me a favor. Follow me on TikTok. I follow back. I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. So there it is, Evangelist Shakira M. Y'all go blow that up. See? Queens of Trades. See, if y'all do it right now, it's going to show me. Queens of Trades, just follow me. I love you for that, queen. Y'all go blow up my TikTok, please. I love y'all. God bless y'all.